Hello everyone. My name is uh, SM Sadhuj Jaman and my ID is 1306005. I'm here describing our Tripoli G10 Communication Lab project and uh, our uh, project is Deep Sea Low Cost Navigation System for Fishermen. The project has been submitted to Dr. MD Faradu Sensor and John Tudu Sir. And it is submitted by Sadhna Saki Bahabab, SM Sadhuj Jaman, Ganbi Mahmood and Zahidur Rahman Jason. Uh, sometimes Bangladeshi fishermen go into deep sea at Bay of Bengal, lose the track of the border, and they accidentally enter into the neighboring country borders and thus tragically get caught by the foreign coast guard. As their uh, family cannot be informed about their capture, uh, they remain lost for uh, days and uh, even sometimes years. To uh, solve the problem, we are presenting here a low-cost solution so that the fisherman never goes beyond the border of Bangladesh. A safe threshold distance will be set by the prospective authority and if the fisherman uh, surpasses the safe distance, our system will show warning and uh, so that uh, he can uh, as soon as get back to the safe region. Uh, in this video, we will describe the hardware we used for the project. Uh, introduction to the codes we uh, used in the hardware, brief demonstration of the project and the scopes of improvement in our work. Let's have a look on the hardware we used in the project. We have used an Arduino Uno, a Bluetooth module, AC05, AC114, a CM808 GSM and GPRS uh, module plus GPS antenna, a micro SD card adapter and a micro SD card. Uh, uh, in the SD card we have uh, stored the border data points. Uh, in a file uh, in .csv format. Uh, let's have a look on the hardware operation of our project. Uh, we will get the current location of the Fisher map from the GPS module and send it back to the Arduino. Uh, the communication will be uh, serial communication. The Arduino will then uh, process the data with the data stored in the SD card and the uh, Arduino and SD card communication will be via SPI communication and the Arduino will determine uh, the uh, status of the fisherman if he's in danger or not and the result of the uh, program uh, can be uh, seen via a Bluetooth module in a mobile device and the communication will be serial communication and uh, uh, we have used the default uh, hardware serial pins of Arduino to be connected to the Bluetooth here we are seeing the uh, connection of the GPS module to the Arduino. We have connected the number uh, 5 long pin of the Arduino to the TX pin of the GPS module and number 6 long pin of the Arduino to the RX pin of the GPS module. Uh, here we are uh, seeing the uh, uh, Bluetooth connection of the uh, Bluetooth connection to the Arduino and as I have stated earlier that we have used the serial pins that means the Arduino serial 1 pin has been connected to the receiver of the Bluetooth module and Arduino's receiver pin that means 0 pin has been connected to the transmitter pin of the uh, Bluetooth module and the SD card has been connected as default uh, SPI communication pins that means uh, MISO has been connected to the 12 long pins of the Arduino MOSI to 11 long pin clock pin has been connected to the 13 long pin and CS pin has been connected to the 4 long pin Hello, this is Sadman Sakib Ahbab, student ID 1306002. I am going to demonstrate our hardware setup. This is our Arduino Uno and this is our uh, GPS module SIM 808. I have put the antenna near window so that it can get clear GPS signal. This is our Bluetooth module. It is connected to the default hardware serial communication pin of Arduino 0 and 1. This is the SD card adapter. It is connected to the Arduino's default SPI communication pins. Now let's upload our uh, code for obtaining border data. Before uh, uploading the code, we must disconnect the Bluetooth module because Arduino uses 0 and 1 pin for uh, communicating with the computer. Code for obtaining border data. We will uh, receive latitude longitude from GPS module and save them in the memory card. 
so let's upload the code so uh, done uploading waiting to power on and now waiting to get a fix on GPS location so now we have got a 3d fix uh, the first data is garbage value save uh, the GPS uh, location in memory card so in order to get a border location we need to move along the border and uh, take uh, uh, points at a fixed intervals in this case we are taking uh, points at five second intervals so to simulate uh, a border uh, we will work along a uh, buet uh, from central library through architecture building polashi baja to ece building and take points so let's do that now we are watching that we are taking the border data points at buet campus we are uh, working along the uh, buet central buet central library road to the architecture building And we are moving on from the architecture building uh, to the policy buzzer from where we will go to the EC campus uh, now we are at the EC campus uh, take, taking our border data points and uh, we have completed taking the border data points now we will have a short introduction to the code that will be used in the prototype demo for determining the minimum distance of the current location of the fisherman from the border point and thus notify the fisherman about his status if he is in danger or not. In this code, we will communicate with the GPS Bluetooth and SD card and we will process the data of the uh, latitude and longitude with the border data points and uh, we will determine if the fisherman is in the danger zone or in the safe zone if he is in a danger zone we will uh, blink an LED and thus we will inform him that he should uh, go back and uh, that's why we have included the software serial.h library which will communicate with the GPS uh, SD.h will enable us to open the SD card by Arduino and uh, uh, get the data from the from a border data points file and tinygps.h will uh, help us to extract the latitude and longitude from the uh, enemy sentence. Uh, here we have assigned pin number 5 of the Arduino as the RX pin that will be connected to the TX of the GPS module as we have seen in the hardware. Uh, the uh, TX pin of the Arduino has been set as pin of 6 and it will be connected to the RX of the uh, GPS module and CS pin has been uh, of the SD card has been declared as pin number 4 as default and the warning pin that means the LED has been connected to the pin online of the Arduino. The number of border points we have used in the code is uh, 212 and the uh, files have been stored in the site to the CSV and uh, the threshold distance uh, of uh, uh, our uh, demonstration has been taken as 10 meters. Here we are trying to open the SD card. Uh, if uh, it opens, then it, uh, it will go to the next uh, command. And uh, if, if it is not open, then it will uh, uh, paint error SD open. The start GPS is a function which gives the enemy sentence in a GPGG format from the GPS module. Firstly, in the start GPS, we are uh, enabling. That means we are uh, powering the. CGPS uh, by 80 plus CGPS power equals to 1 that means we are uh, uh, giving the on command to the uh, GPS module 
unless it is on it will uh, print waiting to power on and if it is on then it will go to the next command and it will print power on and then we will set the uh, mode of the uh, GPS module as well as we are in a tropical country uh, and uh, as soon as it uh, gets the warm mode it will print mode equals to warm uh, then we will check the CGP status. If it is 3D fixed, uh, uh, if, it, if uh, the string is 3D, CGP status is a string, and if it is 3D, then uh, it will uh, pin the uh, 3D and does it will go to the next command. That means it will pin location 3D fix. That means the location has been fixed. And if it is not, then it will print the numbers as uh, we have done in the. Uh, Clack plus plus, and uh, uh, as soon as the location is fixed, it will uh, also enable the enemy output by giving the it command. It will be CGP out equals to two. After that, we will go to the uh, loop of the Arduino where we have done the data processing. Uh, here we have uh, tried to get if the uh, enemy sentence is true, that means valid. Uh, the, and dps dot in could see uh, it will uh, check the validity of the uh, enemy data that we will get from the GPS module. Uh, and if it is a valid code, then it will set up new data equals to true. And if uh, new data is true, then it will enter into the data processing. Uh, otherwise, it will continue to find and work unless the uh, G, uh, GPS data is valid. In the dat uh, data processing, uh, we have firstly get the latitude and longitude by the GPS dot get position, uh, which is a library function of TN GPS. And uh, after that, we have used the uh, SD card file site two dot CSV, where the border locations has been border points has been uh, has been have been and. Uh, uh, we have uh, processed the data and uh, determined the minimum distance from the border point of the current location and if uh, the minimum distance is uh, less than the threshold distance then it will bring the danger and uh, if it is not then uh, it will not bring the LED and if he is in danger it will bring the LED and we will uh, also see the LED uh, uh, the, the see the minimum distance uh, in the uh, mobile, if we connect uh, the Bluetooth module with our uh, with the mobile device, with the and uh, in the distance function, where, uh, which we have uh, used in the data processing to de determine the distances uh, in meters using the latitude and longitude, we have assumed that the Earth is flat, and thus we have calculated the distance. From the border data points of the current location of the fisherman. Now let's have a look on the uh, prototype demonstration of a project. Firstly we will show you the border points we took and uh, then we will go to the final demonstration. Border data let's check out our data so I have already copied the file it in our, my laptop so there is a garbage value in the first three data let's delete them and let's add the he a header now let's plot our data and see where we have been So here is our <coughs> positions in the map. So, uh, Buet Cafe, uh, Buet Central Library, and then uh, we went through architecture building, and then Shonali Bank, uh, Buet Branch, and to Polashi, uh, Polashi Bazaar, and through. 
uh, through you know, to ECE building uh, and uh, we made a round around EC campus and uh, end uh, our procession ended at the EC gate that is uh, this will be act as act as our border so we will go around oab building near oab building and check our distance from this border the library and since our border was uh, across the library so we are too close to the library and from Bluetooth point we think that the minimum distance is uh, 17 meters uh, we assume threshold distance about 40 meters, so the uh, danger uh, sign is showing and the LED is on. If now we uh, walk and uh, go to distance at least 40 meters, this LED will be turned off. So let's see. So now minimum distance is 44.83 meter and the light has been turned off. And if we go back then the light will be turned on again. Now we will have a look on the status and demo of our project in an Android phone with uh, the Bluetooth serial communication and uh, we have used the uh, Bluetooth GPS uh, uh, app for this. Uh, which is an online app and uh, if a uh, google map is uh, used uh, is saved as offline it can work uh, well too we are now going to demonstrate the uh, uh, pl plotting our uh, location in google maps for this we used an a third party application bluetooth gps this application can receive the NEMA output screen from through Bluetooth from the GPS module and plot uh, the current latitude, longitude and altitude uh, in this window uh, and we can see the received data uh, through view log and uh, the finally it can plot the map here. So let us demonstrate the application. We are now connecting to the Bluetooth module. We are waiting for the GPS to get a fix on the location.
so we have got our location we are receiving the NEMA output here uh, we can see that uh, our location is and the map can be seen here so Uh, the map, uh, the application can detect our latitude and longitude, and also altitude. So we can see our location is around Kuala Lumpur, and if we zoom in, uh, we are in Kuala Lumpur, uh, road number eleven. This is the address of um, our my home. We can also switch to the uh, <coughs> GPS view. This is uh, the roof of um, um, our apartment and uh, the uh, roof of our apartment. And uh, since we uh, <coughs> uh, took uh, the uh, our border in. Uh, ECE building uh, we can see that that our distance from ECE is about uh, 6.7 kilometers so minimum distance is about 6.7 kilometers from Buet and uh, since uh, this is above our threshold uh, this uh, there is no warning uh, but if uh, the distance was less than our threshold distance there would be danger sign here so uh, let us change our the threshold so that uh, we can uh, demonstrate the danger uh, warning so we have to uh, change the threshold in the code so let's do that i have uploaded the new code uh, now let's connect again So now we see that there is danger warning every time because uh, now I have uh, uh, set that border uh, threshold to 8 kilometers since our distance is 6.8 uh, kilometers uh, so we can see there is danger warning and uh, still we are at Garden Road. So that's all for online application. The Bluetooth GPS can uh, show our current location in uh, in the Google Maps, but uh, it cannot work offline. So let's try to uh, do it offline. Now let us connect to another application. Is to serial terminal. We are connecting to the Bluetooth module. So we are receiving the data from Bluetooth here, and we see there is current location and minimum distance. Okay, so we just copy the current location from here and paste it in Google Maps. We have already downloaded. Uh, offline uh, version of Google Maps of uh, Dhaka so we can uh, see our location uh, and uh, although the Wi-Fi is off and so uh, we can see our current location is in Kolanpo road number 11 Thus, uh, we have completed uh, the uh, demonstration of our full project. And now we will discuss some uh, improvements in our project. So, uh, due to time shortage, we, we could not uh, build uh, any app so that it can be used as offline. Uh, so, if, if we got more time, uh, we would learn Android app uh, developing and thus make uh, the uh, offline uh, Google Map using work. 
the cost of the project would be reduced if we uh, could use the uh, uh, NMA string from a smartphone via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi so that we could not need a uh, CM802 module at all and uh, thus process the data and then report back to the smartphone. A database can be uh, built for the border positions uh, so that uh, the users uh, 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 did not need uh, to uh, walk through the borderline and thus uh, uh, record the data points and uh, thus uh, SD card uh, uh, can be filled up by any file, any previous files. Uh, the system can be integrated into the central system of the uh, vessel uh, and uh, then the warnings can be synchronized with the distress signal if uh, necessary. So uh, it was the uh, uh, full uh, describe, uh, description of our project, a Tripoli uh, 310 communication laboratory, a deep uh, sea low level uh, low cost solution for the uh, navigation uh, system for the fishermen. Uh, thanks a lot for your uh, valuable time to hear us and uh, we are giving our special thanks to our uh, mentors uh, uh, Farhad sir and Jointo sir uh, who have led us uh, uh, by giving uh, this project uh, to uh, learn a lot about the uh, GPS system and uh, thus solve the a, a very real life problem and uh, uh, they have helped us uh, uh, a lot when we need it. Thanks a lot.